Hello, people. Yeah. Okay. So. Welcome to my room. I am currently now in my room putting my glasses away because I do not wear them in the evening. Hold on for a second. I'm gonna ask, am I saying something? Alexa, read my notifications. One new notification because for Rhonda. And it's saying every time it's for my mom. So, <sighs> yay. I am finally live on this account after like months, like months, I'm not joking, months of um, trying to get it to work on this account. I've been previously been doing it on, excuse me, on my uh, other channel, West End Matilda, which is uh, which is my theater channel, which I don't really post on there anymore <laughs> like I used to. Um, and I used to post on there since I was like in fifth grade and <laughs> I guess. Now I don't really post. I mean, I was like, I was 10 at the time, so I mean. <laughs> and now I'm going to be 14, which is, which is crazy. <laughs> which is really crazy. But I mean, yeah. Look at me in the mirror. Mirror. See? That's me. Right. Hello. <laughs> That's me. That's me there. That's me there. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. Okay, I get it. Live chat. Go away. <laughs> um. Ooh, I like this filter. <laughs> uh. No, I don't want to stop. I never do. Hold on. There we go. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so, I had my first day of school today. <laughs> yeah. Um. And. It was. Good. It was. It was good. But, I mean, I don't. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the best, but I mean, it was nice, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, it was nice. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of school. Um, and obviously I hate like the learning stuff. The only stuff I'm used to, like, learning about is, like, musicals and bands and stuff. Not, like, school-related, like, math and English and social studies and science. Ugh, that is boring. <sighs> I hate, I hate, I hated, um, I hated math class. No, not math class. I hated English. <laughs> I, well, here, I don't know if you guys call it any anything else in, like, other countries, but... Here in the U.S., we call it ELA in some schools, so, like, English Language Arts. Um, so, uh, yeah. Strange. Nobody's watching it. Zero people are watching and zero people are liking it. What? That is so weird. Hold on. That is so weird. I don't get that. <laughs> Anyway, so I will be talking about stuff and just, ugh, just stuff and yeah, um, so I'll be talking about bands and stuff, so Please, if you guys are seeing this, please watch it. 
please watch it. Oh, you like my nails? Yeah, they're pink and purple. Um, they kind of match my girl band logo color. <laughs> um, but... Yeah. So I will be talking about my favorite band. So if you guys have not seen like videos and stuff on my Instagram page, hold on, you might want to not hear this. Yeah, if you heard that, then I guess you heard that, but I too did. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Anyway. I don't know why I'm smiling like this. Anyway, so, oh yeah, before I even go, sorry, before I even talk about my favorite bands, actually, um, oh, there's my Matilda poster that I recently got in, on Christmas. Do you like it? Yeah, it's, it's perfect. Anyway, so I don't know if you've like seen this before, but I remember doing a video on Instagram and I'm saving it to the camera roll so I can post it on YouTube, but this. Ta-da! I got the DVD a few months ago of the Atomic Kitten right here, right now. Oh, my bed is terrible. Ew. Anyway, um, but I got this, and, um, it is actually a really great DVD, and that is a backy back, and Lil, wait, oh, wait, no, that's Jenny, <laughs> but I'm gonna read this, so, Apologize if I can't really read it good, but it says in April 2002. Ow! Go away! Go away! There was a bug that was just biting me. Ah! I hate this. Okay. So it says in April 2002, Britain's biggest girl group. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna say Britain's biggest. Okay. Britain's biggest girl group set out on their first ever UK tour from the very first no, you know. So basically, this, this, this is all what it says here. And it even includes The Kitten Diaries, which is a documentary of their right here, right now tour of the, some of the places they've been on tour. And yeah. I'm going to need to change this later. This looks... Ew! Yeah, I know what this is. That's terrible. For some reason, that's blood. But I'm not going to tell you why there's blood on there. And how I got blood on there. Because it's private. And I cannot tell you. Anyway. So, yeah. That's my DVD. And I will show you a bit of the DVD right now. Please, YouTube, do not copyright this video. Do not copyright this video because YouTube, because um, you knew that I do not own it. Go away, because you know that I do not own it. Oh yeah, did you know my TV was a smart TV? Yeah, it's not a regular TV. It's a smart TV, which is cool. Which most people have smart TVs, TVs nowadays. Which, here we go, sources. Ow, go. I thought I clicked it. There we go. There, it switched to composite just because 
I used to have an HDMI cord, but then I lost it. So this is basically what it looks like now. <laughs> FBI warnings here. I hate these. I literally hate these. They're like not cool. Not cool at all. Like no joke. But anyway. So this is basically what it is. I wish you could turn on the lighting. Can you do that? No. Ugh. Enable flash. Yeah, but I don't want flash on there. Hold on, let me turn flash off. There we go. No! I never want to end it. But anyway, if you've not seen my, like, quick Instagram-y edited video, so this is basically right here right now, which I'm not going to play the whole thing, which it just basically plays that, and then select song, um... So like you can see here, these are the songs. So there's right now, turn me on, eternal flame, get real, hippie, tomorrow and tonight, and then wait, there's more after that. And then there's strangers, which Liz McClellan, my favorite, sings. So strangers, cradle, you are, see ya, it's okay, follow me. And then there's more. <laughs> I want your love, kids in America, by now, dancing in the street, and whole again, which I'm going to play one of them for you, but not the whole thing. Here we go! <laughs> Here we go. This is basically what it is. Um, because it's composite, it doesn't show the whole, it doesn't like fill the whole screen, so it's basically this. I don't want to do this because it's copyright. So, because of copyright, I'm going to, I'm just going to do that. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what it does for those of you who have the DVD and don't know how to use it. <laughs> um, then, man. And then, extras. <laughs> and then, kitten diaries, which is just... Yeah, so this is basically the documentary. <laughs> like I said, it's our film. Well, their film. And then after that, it has It's Okay, which is basically the music video. I'm not going to play the whole thing. And then the tide is high, which is just also the music video. And then main menu. And an audio set up. I was like, come on. Um, so it has, let's see, has Dolby Stereo, Dolby Surround 5.1, main, which is just the main menu, and then DTS Surround Sound. So, yeah. Um. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what it is. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's basically what my DVD <laughs> is. And that's basically how my screen shows up, I guess, for the DVD player. Because I lost an HDMI cord. And my parents yelled at me for it. And I'm like, why are you yelling at me? And they're like, why are you yelling at me? And they're, they're like, because you lost your own HDMI cord to your DVD player. And then my mom's like, well, it looks like you're not going to have a DVD player anymore. And I'm like, ugh. And she's like, go ask dad to find it or help you find it. And so I went downstairs and asked my dad. We looked for it. 
well, we didn't find it, but we tried to look for it. And then my mom called me back upstairs because she's like, oh, yeah, I found a way to hook this up. But I don't think this is, like, the best. But HDMI cord would have been better. Which it would have been better if I found it, but I did not find it at all. Which was very crazy and very upsetting. You know what? I'm actually going to turn my light on. Yeah. Um, I don't really turn this lamp on until, like, I don't know, but I mean, there we go. There. Now it's bright enough that you can actually see me, <laughs> which is nice. Um, but, uh, yeah. I cannot believe it. I got, well, I, I don't. I don't have the bite yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a bug bite sometime soon. Like, even sometime around here, I think I'm gonna get a bug bite, which is not fun because I don't like mosquito bites. Um, but yeah, but now I'm gonna talk about, oh, now I'm gonna talk about my favorite bands. So the first one that I discovered was Atomic Kitten. No joke. I saw it the whole time. They were American. Not because they're British, but they, well, I just spoiled it now, but, but, um, I was on Spotify and Locomotion was stuck in my head. Be well, they did a cover of Locomotion and it was featured in Thomas and the Magic Railroad, which I have the movie, which I'm actually going to get it. I'm actually going to get it right now. Here it is. Wait, I don't know. I don't know if I can actually get it. Come on, Thomas, get out. Go on, Thomas. Go on. There we go. And here it is. Thomas and the Magic Railroad with Mara Wilson. Which she actually wished me a happy birthday when I was 12 years old. Isn't that cool? But this is the Thomas and the Magic Railroad movie that I have. And I got it for Christmas. In 2022 and it had peter fonda and alec baldwin which peter fonda rest in peace darling <laughs> he was he was a nice actor and i'm sad he passed away marl wilson however is still living but not really acting she's voice acting now which is kind of cool and then this is the back look there's mara and then there's peter fonda and then alec baldwin <laughs> And then, of course, Thomas with, I think that's Percy. I'm not sure. But. Yeah. And then it's a DVD ROM direct web link. The, the, theatrical trailer. Talent files. Interactive menus. Interactive menus. I've always wanted to wonder what that is, but like it seems like I can't find it on there. And then um scene selections, which of course I like the special features on DVDs because I don't know. They're actually kinda cool. Um this DVD is oh sorry, two thousand Strange. <laughs> it has 2,000 on there. I don't want to be too close to the mic or else. Yeah. But anyway. So. Now I'm going to be talking about my favorite girl bands. Oh yeah. And if you're wondering why this is sticking out. Because I messed it up <laughs> while opening it. So I basically messed up the cover. So yeah. Which is kind of sad. But. Yeah, it's kind of sad. But anyway, now to talk about my favorite band. So the first one I got into was Atomic Kitten. Oh, please, I hope that didn't knock over. Oh, yeah, it's good. Um, but Atomic Kitten, you want to know how I discovered them? So I was on Spotify and Locomotion because they did a song uh well they covered it 
Locomotion by, uh, originally by, um, not Kylie Minogue, but Little Eva, that's her name. And then Kylie Minogue covered it, and then I think they just did a cover. And I guess that Atomic Kitten did a cover. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but... Anyway, so Tommy Kent did the cover of Locomotion, and the song was literally, so it was two days before Christmas, which was crazy, and the Locomotion was somehow stuck in my, stuck in my head, sorry, I can't talk, and I was humming like, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't want to hum it because of copyright, but yeah, and um, then I searched Locomotion, and it said by Tommy Kitten. One of them searched up, uh, one, the Atomic Kittens version came up in the search results on Spotify. And I'm like, who's Atomic Kitten? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is it. And then I listened to it and I'm like, yes, this is it. But then I'm like, wait a minute. Who the heck are, the, are Atomic Kitten? Like, I never even heard of them except for my, I don't want to say it or else she'll show up and not understand what I'm saying. She's like, sorry, I can't understand what you said. A, I'm gonna say from the Amazon thing. And, <laughs> and I mean, I remember when I was like 10 or nine years old, I asked her to play it and she played it. Sorry, I think I played the, uh, like Thomas and the Magic Real World soundtrack because I was obsessed with the movie and because of Mara, because of Mara Wilson, the beautiful Mara Wilson, right there. And, um, and then, then that's, that's how that song got stuck in my head, literally, uh, I think it was like, like two or three years later or something. Last, well, it was on December 23rd, so, December 23rd, so two days before Christmas, and anyway, yeah, so, I, I told you the whole search results part and me listening to it, and then and I was like, who the who the heck is Atomic Kitten? Like, who the heck are they? And so I clicked on their name. Well, I I tapped on their name. I tapped on their name on the uh, on Spotify, and I saw their bio, and I saw well, yeah. So I clicked on their bio on Reddit, and it said that they were an English pop group. I was like. English? So they're British? And I just realized that they're from Liverpool because I was <laughs> I was searching on uh, Google then. I was like, Atomic Kitten, because that's the thing I searched, right? And so I clicked on the search result thing, <clears throat> excuse me, and Wikipedia thing, the Wikipedia thing popped up and it said, Atomic Kitten are an English girl group that formed in Liverpool, UK or something like that. And I was like, they're a British pop group? I was like, they're a British pop group? Like, get out. Like, literally, I was like, that's what, that's what I said to myself. I was like, literally, get out of town. Like, that's crazy. Like, that is so crazy. And, um, I started listening to more of their songs, like more of their albums, singles, and just songs. And um, I guess, I guess it worked. <laughs> well, not worked, but I guess it. Um, I guess the songs I was I were obsessed I was obsessed with. The one I listened to the most then was Locomotion. I listened to it like that same day I listened, well, Locomotion I listened to a few times on December 23rd. And on December 24th, it was stuck in my head again, and so I wanted to play it. So I played it like most of the day, which December 24th was Christmas Eve. Yay! And then December 25th, I played it again. And then December 26th, I played it again. December 27th, I played it again. December 28th, I played it again. And all these months and years and stuff, until now, I played it again. Literally, I've been obsessed with Atomic Kitten for, let me say,
for almost nine months. What? I, I've been uh, obsessed with Atomic Kitten for almost nine months. Literally. I'm obsessed with my nails. I know I've shown you them before, but my nails are so pretty. Anyway, yeah. I've been obsessed with Atomic Kitten for almost nine months straight. And I'm like, what? That's crazy. I know this year it's been eight months, which I'm like, how can I be obsessed with them for that long? And <clears throat> anyway, yeah, so Atomic Kitten. After Atomic Kitten, I discovered another girl band called Bewitched. They're Irish, by the way. And my favorite is Lindsay. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you who my favorite member from Atomic Kitten was. Did I? Yeah, Liz McLarnan, definitely. Which I showed you the cover, so. Um, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, so, yeah, um, that's basically what happened. I mean, I just looked at Liz a lot, and I, I just thought in my mind, I thought she was Natasha, because they were Natasha Hamilton, Liz McLaren, Carrie Katona, and Jenny Frost. Carrie left in 2001, I want to say. I know I wrote, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. I know I had to write about something in school and I just wrote about Atomic Kitten and I said that Carrie left in 2000, um, but I, I think it was 2001 now. Eh, 2000. Actually, I don't know. Anyway, so 2001, that's when Jenny joined, January of 2001 and absolutely perfect. I can't roll my, I can't roll my eyes there, like, ta-da, 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 ta-da. I can't, I can't do it, like, no, I, I can't, I can't run my R's, like, literally, and, like, if my kids learn Spanish, and then they're gonna be like, mommy, because, literally, I'm gonna move to Liverpool, and I'm gonna have a Scouse accent, which I can do, which Scouse sounded like Scottish, or Irish, but I'm gonna be a Scouse woman, literally, I'm gonna have a Scouse accent, like, I'm gonna be a Liverpoolian and I'm gonna live in Liverpool. Literally. No joke, people. I'm moving to Liverpool when I'm literally older. <laughs> and then I'm gonna marry a British guy and then hopefully that'll have me have British kids. Because I want kids with accents and not really American kids. I mean, I know that sounds rude and. Um. Yeah. But, still. But, um, yeah, I can't stop smiling. Anyway, so, yeah, so, yeah, Atomic Kitten. Liz McLaren, my favorite member. It was originally gonna be Natasha. I know we say Natasha, but I say Natasha because why not? I, I just I just like saying it that way instead of Natasha. It's Natasha sound that sounds very British to me than Natasha. Natasha just sounds American. And my mom says Natasha, my dad says Natasha. My friends say Natasha, so Basically, that's how you're actually supposed to say the name Natasha, but I'd say Natasha with an A instead of an A, ah, because why not? <laughs> anyway, so Liz is my favorite, Elizabeth, which is who I'm going to name my first child after if it's a girl. I'm going to name my child Elizabeth after Liz. I would tell my friends that today at school, that I'm going to name my child Liz, sorry, that I'm gonna name my child Elizabeth after a person. She's like, after the queen? And she's like, and I'm like, no, after a singer I like. And she's like, mm, okay, I see. Anyway, Bewitched was the next person. Hmm, Bewitched was the next person. Bewitched was the next band that I liked. And they're Irish. And I'm, and I'm terrible at Irish, so. Please do not correct me with the Irish accent, but they are really good.
for some reason. They are really good and I like them really much. Really much. That does not make sense. I like them really much. I like them very much. Uh, I like them very much. Literally. Literally. Oh, that was so close. When I said literally, literally, I said literally, literally, like literally, literally. And it's in a Scouse accent, like, I'm, used, I'm more used to doing Scouse than um, Irish or like any other accent. I mean, I remember doing a Yorkshire accent. I sound like a Yorkshire person from Yorkshire. <laughs> I can't. And I remember one time I did Australian. Good day, mate. I'm Australian, y'all. Y'all, no. No, 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 no. Australians don't say y'all. Southern people say y'all. I'm Southern, honey. And I live in Southern Texas. Does that even exist? Anyway, enough about accents. So, and enough about, like, who I'm going to name my child after. Because, yeah. Anyway, Bewitched. Who's my favorite member? Lindsay. Not Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay was never in a band. Like, in an actual band. Although, she was in a band in Freaky Friday, but that was it. But that's not a real band. <laughs> anyway. So... Um, Lindsay Armel. Yeah, Armel. I always have trouble pronouncing her last name. Armo? Arm Armel? I don't know, but something like that. But yeah, that's my. She's my favorite. Originally, it was gonna be Kiwi, Kiwi Lynch, the twin daughter of Edel Lynch, twin daughter and sister. Same thing. And. I, yeah. I, I originally. Ooh. I originally liked both of the twins, but then I just switched it to Lindsay. I don't know. She just looks cute. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, I just might switch it back to um, Kiwi and Edel. Anyway, after Bewitched, oh yeah, Say La Vie and Roller Coaster are my top favorite songs. I'd put, I put Say La Vie at number one, Roller Coaster at number two. The rest, I don't know. Even though I've listened to, like, some other their songs, like, um, uh, I don't know. But, yeah, anyway, the next one, oh boy. I mean, actually, that's a lie. And, yeah, that's a lie. After Atomic Kitten, I like this duo, it's actually a duo, called the Cheeky Girls. And they're from Romania, so any people from Romania watching this, hi there. I bet you do, I bet you know the Cheeky Girls. We yeah, the Cheeky Girls. I don't want to sing it because of copyright, but I just had to sing it a little bit to get an idea, some, to get some people an idea of what, the, who, who the Cheeky Girls are. They're basically people, so they originally auditioned for Pop Stars The Rivals. Oh, my hand. They originally, they originally auditioned for Pop Stars The Rivals, but then I guess they weren't through. They didn't get through. And then I guess they just signed a record deal without auditioning. I mean, I bet they had the audition someplace, but I mean, I don't think there were any videos of it. Anyway. Yeah, so the Cheeky Girls were my next favorite band slash duo, and literally... The Cheeky Girls, We Are the Cheeky Girls, T Cheeky Girls song, Cheeky Song Touch My Bum, that's what it's called, I'm like, touch your bum? Nobody wanna, would want to touch anybody's bum, nobody wanna wa would want to watch, nobody wanna, would, I can't talk, nobody would want to touch anybody's bum, finally, yeah, nobody want, well, you know what I mean. Nobody would want to watch, nobody would want to touch anybody's bum. Nobody. I'm just saying. Anyway, um. Hi there. Hmm. Hi. I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyway, um, uh, 
Anyway, yeah, so the cheesy girls were necked and then bewitched. By the way, if I didn't say, which I don't, I did not. The cheesy girls are Romanian, then bewitched, and then after that, I liked a band called Girls Aloud. Yeah, which I won't be telling you much about them. And then after Girls Aloud were the Saturdays, and then after the Saturdays were a band called Girl Sing, and then after Girl Sing, oh no, I don't know, but I don't think this is in order. Apologize if it isn't in order. I mean, I know you don't actually know the order, but I mean, yeah. But then I liked a band called, uh, which I still know, but um, a band called S Club 7, which are now called S Club because Paul Cattermole died. Mm. And then Hannah Spirit, she uh she didn't die, <laughs> but she just left the band because of Paul's death. I remember her and Paul living or being engaged or something like that. Anyway, so yeah, one left and one died, and now they're called S Club, and now there's four people. No, there's five people. Five, two, wait, no. Seven, two, seven. Oh, yeah. Five people left. I don't know why I said four. But, yeah. And then after S Club 7, I discovered the S Club Juniors. Uh, and the first music video I listened to, or first song I listened to of the S Club Juniors were Automatic, was Automatic High. Frankie! Yeah, Frankie is also part of the Saturdays. Frankie Sanford, also known as Frankie Rich now. Um, but yeah, she was in S Club Juniors, and, the, and then she, after that, she was in the Saturdays. But, oh, she looks, she looks so cute when she was in S Club Juniors, slash S Club 8, because when they got older, they were called S Club 8, and, I don't know, they just didn't want to keep the junior name anymore or something, or, well, it was because they were grown and growing up and becoming seniors instead of juniors, so I mean, yeah. Anyway, and then I like more bands, but I'm not going to tell you them now because uh, I gotta go. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my first ever live video. And hold on for a sec. Do you like my window? <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty cool. My window's amazing, isn't it? I know you can, I know you can see part of it, but look at it outside. The trees and everything, it's so cool. Yeah. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Anyway. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so that's it for the video, and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. If I don't, then I will see you in a different on a different day i mean i don't really post often on here now but i mean still i'll see you on a different day bye yeah bye guys wait yeah you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this there we go bye guys